Fuck you. Fuck you. You're cool. And fuck you. I'm out. What's up, everybody? Pal702. Back today with another 30 millimeter RDA review. Vapors Cloud Buddha V 4.1. I never owned any of their products until we sent me the Shogun RDA, which I will link right there. And I really, I enjoyed it and well, we opened up my mind, man, to an entire different brand. Oh. I was like, fuck it, I already got the 30 millimeter king. I got the Buddha V4.1. So what we are gonna do now is we are gonna go downtown. I'm gonna show you all around this big old some bitch 30 millimeter RDA. We are going to throw a build in it. We're gonna to listen to some excellent music. Pop back up. Pros, cons. You know how we do this. The Buddha version 4.1 by Vapors Cloud. You will see on the box here, you got a very peaceful, zen like Buddha right here. He is um, achieving serenity, I think, is what we're going for. Excellence, inner peace, the circle of life. On the side of the box, you're going to have Vapor's Cloud, Buddha, Buddha. And on the back, just some general rules to live by in life. Vapor's Cloud is very good at telling you shit you shouldn't do. Starting off with this is uh, for people that are 18 or 21, depending on what state you live in. The second one, right here, this product is intended for people with a working knowledge of Ohm's Law. Ohm's Law. Know it, love it, read it, learn it, practice it. Ohm's Law, battery safety, all that good stuff. Especially if you watch my channel, because I run pretty much mechs and RDAs and so all of that. Inside the box, you have your Buddha V4.1 and you have some directions. As I said before, Vapors Cloud, they're very, they're, they're manual. They always give you some really solid advice. Now on this one, I mean, it's no instruction manual. It's really kind of rules to life. And so the first one that really struck me was, um, I believe rule number seven. Rule number two is you don't talk about the rules. Rule number seven right here, do not drink e-liquid. Well, I 100% stand by that. Do not drink e-liquid. If you guys are out there drinking it, uh, first step is admitting that you have a problem. Second step, well, there's 12 steps to this. The next one that is extremely important is going to be number 17. All right, so probably if you don't get anything else out of this review, I want you to pay close attention to number 17. Do not use any Vapor Clouds products or devices in any sexual manner, okay? This one goes out to Wii 0609. Like if you buy a stacked mech tube, that's not where you put it, man, okay? That is not where you put it. So just refer to Vapor's Cloud rule number 17. All right, so. We have your Buddha with the deck in it. Different cap for your Buddha. We'll go over those shortly. Extras, so you have these blue O-rings that will go around the base of the deck. You have another O-ring up top where your drill tip goes in. And you have the little mini blue screwdriver. You have three extra post screws. They look titanium, but they're not. They're just some type of heat treated, kind of the same way they get the rainbow effect on the other stuff, but these are not titanium. And you also have a squonk pin. So this is the Buddha 4.1 by Vapors Cloud. You can see right here, Buddha. Buddha on the front, VC for Vapors Cloud on the Back, and this thing measures 30 millimeters by 31 millimeters in height, not including the drip tip. Airflow on this first cap. I don't know if these guys 
started this whole honeycomb airflow design i know like the the mini buddha had it i know that this this has been around for a while I, i'm not sure if these are the first guys to ever use this i feel like there was someone else that that did the honeycomb first and this is where fictitious or louis or we or dane or whoever leaves a comment down below and tells me who's the first person to use this honeycomb airflow i'm only asking because anyone that owns like the bonza or anything like that you guys know already that this airflow always is very very smooth but you can see this is uh it's an offset airflow these holes are offset and there's a, a combined 36 of these little holes. So there's 18 on this side, there's 18 on this side right here. So in order to adjust the airflow on this guy, you're just gonna turn this top cap right here. This is a two piece top cap. It's got these nice little knurls right here. And as you turn it, you'll see it closes down, but it closes down kind of at an angle so you can't shut off individual rows or anything it just kind of closes down it just kind of closes down like that see there's like a i don't know like a 45 degree angle on it i'll show you once i pop this top cap off so you can't shut down individual rows or anything like that it just kind of a generic type of block that isn't you know straight up and down it's at an angle i don't know if that's because these are offset never really got the rationale behind that it just would have been easier if this was square airflow and it just closed off that way or if they did the the top where you could close off starting from the bottom or starting from the top and close them down up top you have an 810 drip tip ultim drip tip right there no o-ring the o-ring is on the inside of the top cap and this is a rather large and not too terribly sexy drip tip but i usually don't switch out drip tips in reviews but i do have this 502 ultim drip tip which you can see the concave on there and it also does not have the o-ring so it fits perfect and it's a little bit shorter so we are going forward we will be using the the ultim 810 drip tip from the 502 just like so. All right, the bottom of your RDA, it says Vapors Cloud and a serial number 815. You'll see you have your gold 510 pin pre-installed. It does come with a squonk pin. And you can see right there, you have peak insulator and it is protruding. So we will go over the honeycomb cap first. It's much easier now to see you know, the airflow holes right here on the honeycomb. It starts off offset right here and then ends and then the top row goes further this direction. Inside, you will see nothing super fancy going on in there. No real like doming or anything like that. Although this does have like a, it does kind of curve in like that. Your top cap just slides out like that. You see I have it already juiced up to help me spin it dual o-rings right there and then you can see how that airflow this is how it blocks it off so it just comes at an angle and just kind of shuts everything down i wish they could have machined something or had a different chuff cap or something that you could possibly close off going by rows i guess it doesn't work because this is offset but if this was just 18 stacked like that which would be three rows of six or six rows of three or something like that probably three rows of six would have been like the way to roll on this but that's just my opinion very simple though pop that guy on there and you can see as it turns shuts it all the way down and that is completely shut down right there so that means that this side is completely shut down once again it's got uh, little neural marks up top there and your o-ring sitting inside and this is the second cap that the Buddha V 4.1 comes with. Now this top part right here is all plastic and this is connected to the actual top cap. So you can see this is all one piece right here. This does not come out. It has the same dual O-rings and similar airflow the way that it shuts down except for this right here has massive, massive Cyclops airflow. That's gotta be like the biggest airflow I've ever seen. It's, this thing is just fucking ridiculously huge. And it just shuts down exactly how the other one shuts down with that kind of angle. 
and everything that happens on this side happens on that side. I guess if you had just some gnarly ass series build in there, maybe you'd run this thing. <laughs> when I run this thing, I end up with the airflow closed down <laughs> to like that. It, this thing has just, just ridiculous airflow. And then inside, same as the other one. Only difference is on the honeycomb one, this top cap is metal. This is plastic and all one piece. This one you can swap out your 810s. This one you cannot. This one is going to be for massive cloud chasing where this guy right here, I'm just gonna tell you right now, it's uh, much smoother and you get much better flavor out of this and it still cranks out the clouds. So what does the Vapors Cloud Buddha V 4.1 have underneath the hood? That is what she has underneath the hood. Now, anyone that is familiar with Vapors Cloud, in particular the Buddha series, the difference between the V4, which is also a 30 millimeter, and the 4.1 is this deck. The V4 had like kind of a dual raised post list where you could put in like three or six coils. Or it looks totally different than this. The 4.1, what the 4.1 did is it took the deck from like the mini Buddha, I think the V2, and put it on the 30 millimeter. So right away you'll see that this is, it's a three post. It's kind of like, you know, old school. And you guys that were building RDAs back in like 2012 or 13, basically everything was a three post. Similar to this, but what's nice about this is the center post right here. So when you thread it up, you'll see it's got this guy right here that comes up and inside of there it's hard to see but there's some knurling so your wires will go on each side of this positive pin right here so it's not like sharing the same center hole like you're not sharing post holes so these negatives are on the outside so say this would go here this would be your negative and then you would go to the furthest slot on the center right here and that's to help keep your coils in the middle because back in the day like your coils always ended up being offset like a coil would be on this side a coil would be on this side but with this design right here it helps you center your coil you still have to mess with it a little bit to get it centered but this does uh, in fact make it a lot easier than than the old school three post ones that i was used to building on these post screws right here they're big old phillips post screws and they're heat treated, they're not They're not uh, titanium, although they kind of look like they would be titanium, but they're heat treated. And you can tell right there that fitting massive wire in these, not gonna be a problem. Fucking huge, huge, huge wire can go in these guys. So you got your, your center right there, which would be your positive. Below that, the squonk hole down there, if you were to put your squonk pin in, it would squonk out right there at the base of this positive post right here so it's not coming from the deck. Now the deck itself, the juice well, if you measure it from, see at the bottom there, it kind of concaves in, it's about an eight and a half millimeter juice well. So massive juice well, excellent for dripping on. Squonking is not gonna be an issue. When I see big, huge juice wells like this, it's almost like having a tank. You can just fill this fucker up, I mean just, mash your bottle and you're not gonna be getting any dry hits. And around the base of the deck right here, you can see those very bright, extremely blue O-rings right here on that gold deck. And remember you get extras. You get extras in the bag, which is kind of nice because when you first get this thing, everything's really dry and tight. You just need to be careful when you start uh, working this thing, you wanna make sure it's juicy. So you wanna apply your e-juice to lube up these ribs right here and get it uh, nice and moist so you're not risking tearing anything at all before you insert the top cap. So coil placement on this guy, it really depends on what cap you're gonna run. But for me, like as I build this, you're gonna see I'm gonna be trying to line up my coils to where the top of my coil is at least even with the top of this airflow right here. When you put your coils in, don't have them straight across. I lift them up quite a bit. If you run them just straight across at the bottom of this deck, it's too low. Like your airflow is gonna miss it. It's gonna go right by it. An easier way to do it too is if you wanna build it using the big bastard airflow right here. You know, then you can kind of slap that on and see see where your coils are 
and that's gonna correspond to this top. Well, let me get that all the way on first. There. If you can see right there with the with that Cyclops airflow cap on, it's almost, I guess it was almost easier to build it using this. Position your coil to where it's slightly higher than this, you know, so you can see the bottom half of your coil and then you're gonna be sitting good on this. It will, it does make a massive difference in flavor. If you run your coils too low on this, you'll get really shitty flavor. But once you raise them up a little bit, the flavor comes. When I first got this, I was running them way too low and I was like, I'm getting all vapor, no flavor. And then I messed around with it and then I started getting flavor. So just something to point out. Building this guy, once again, we're gonna go with the MCM fused NI90 24 gauge. And we're gonna run a six wrap and hope that this thing comes out around a 0.1 and we're gonna run it on just a regular tube, not a series stacked or anything like that. So there it is, that was it. That was the Vapors Cloud Buddha version 4.1 30 millimeter. Hit it. Got time because he writes every note and he writes every line And I've seen him at work when that light goes on in his mind It's like a design is written in his head every time Before he even touches a key or speaks in a rhyme And those motherfuckers he runs with the kids that he signed Ridiculous, without even trying, how do they do it? This is 10% luck, 20% skill 15% concentrated power of will 5% pleasure, 50% pain and 100% reason to remember Fort Minor, you guys remember those guys, and 
The Buddha by Vapor's Cloud version 4.1 on top of a 30 millimeter Hanoi mech tube that I haven't reviewed yet, so I'm not gonna tell you. That could be worse. Let's take it for a rip. All right, so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna do pros and cons. We're gonna start off with the cons and with the pros because around here, we always end on a positive note. Oh yeah, give me a, a box of condoms and um, what's that stuff? I used to eat it all the time back in the day. Pussy, that's right. Cons for the Buddha 4.1 by Vapor's Cloud. First con is going to be on the honeycomb airflow design. I do love the way that it vapes. It's very smooth, but I wish that it wasn't asymmetrical. You son of a bitch! How it's offset. It just makes a lot more sense to have a column down the side that shuts off like this instead of it's like that. Why you gotta make me feel inferior because I'm on the grill, B? It's, I mean, when you see a picture of this, you'll understand what I'm trying to explain. So when you shut it down, you never can quite get perfect airflow to your coil, and I think that that sacrifices some flavor. I don't know why they did it that way. In my humble opinion, not me. I think that it would have worked out a lot better if it was just a honeycomb airflow that was like that, you know, similar to the Bonza or the Recurve. Next con on this is going to be the threading on the 510. Damn. It's a very short thread, meaning there's only certain mech tubes with a hybrid connection that you can thread this on. It has to be a very short 510 connection, like the threading in there. If it's got deeper threads, this won't thread all the way down and it's extremely hard to make a connection. <laughs> So this RDA is not gonna work with a ton of tubes compared to like the King or some other stuff, the UDG25 RDA. The threads on the 510 are very long and that's really important with hybrid connections. It fits basically all, all mech tubes, all hybrid connections where when you have a more of a short, stumpy, threaded 510 and your hybrid connection has long threads, you can only thread it so much and then it stops. Wow. Just because there's nothing left to thread. Well, that's all the more reason. To so that would be my other con is the fact that you are not going to be totally guaranteed that this is going to work on your on your hybrid connected mech tube if that's what you're running it on. If you're running it on a regulated, a regular 510, you're not going to have issues. With mech tubes, you guys do mech tubes, you know sometimes certain RDAs won't work or they don't make as good of contact. And this is one of those pros on the Buddha. V 4.1. <laughs> First pro is gonna be the airflow. I mean, even though I don't like the way that it's set up, this honeycomb airflow with the 36 total holes in it, it's very quiet. It's very, very, very smooth. Yeah, it's what I'm talking about. Okay. And the flavor is good. It's not fantastic, but I also think that that's also because of the asymmetrical airflow, but it does have good flavor. Um, the fact that they give you, this is a, this is a cloud chaser. You would basically, I don't know if you can see the airflow on this thing. Like I can see you through it type thing. You see my eyeball? Like this thing, I'm pretty sure you have to run like a series build on this to get flavor. Cause this thing just kicks out ungodly clouds, but not so much flavor. That's why I'm not vaping it. This dick top definitely has much more flavor. Next pro is gonna be, it is very, very dripper friendly. Like watch how much juice I just dump in this thing. Ah. Hmm? Yeah, the juice well and the not leaking while dripping 10 milliliters of juice in it is a massive pro. Not a mercy. Next pro is going to be, it doesn't get that hot. I'm running a pretty low build in here. And the RDA, probably because of the massive amounts of airflow, doesn't get hot. I do have the Ultim 510 drip tip on here. The other drip tip, I mean, it's just kind of, eh, 
Eh, eh, I mean, I guess I could put that in with the cons a little bit. The drip tip's just kind of fucking boring. Even though it's Ultim, I love Ultim, but kind of boring. Boring drip tip. Bye. Next pro is going to be the build deck. For a three post build deck, it's pretty easy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I like how the center positive post has that kind of clamp style, you know, with the, with the knurling in there. You guys saw how I built it. I just literally put one coil in, tighten it down, clip, clip, put the other coil in, tighten down, clip, clip. And for a three post, if you guys built on the older three post, this this is a breeze. It's it's not hard to build on at all. And then my final pro on it is going to be the fucking cloud production. And that is the the, the clouds on this thing are huge. This is this isn't even in series, and this thing just, it throws massive clouds. All right, so price. How much is this thing gonna cost you? I ordered mine from EVC, and they have really good prices. I stick by my story. Price on this is going to be about 60 bucks, 60, 65 bucks. That's what you're gonna pay for it. 30 millimeter RDAs, they're they're more expensive. It's more hardware, it's bigger, there's more material used to make it. For this, I mean it's it's a fair price. Now would I buy it again? It's one of those ones where it's okay. You know what I mean? Like you're gonna get it if you do get it. If you're a cloud chaser, then get it. I love buttered stuff. If you're doing a cloud comp, get it. What in that? If you're like fogging up a fucking room, get it. <laughs> if you're used to really strong flavor and you have some really good dual RDA, dual coil RDAs that crank out good flavor, this falls kind of in the middle. So that's really what I have for you on the Vapors Cloud Buddha. 4.1 just got on this 30 millimeter kick and figured I'd pick up some 30 millimeters. Doctor said I need a bacchiotomy. I, I am by no means an authority on 30 millimeter RDAs, so I encourage you to watch other reviews if there are. Everything that I've seen on YouTube, they do the, the V4, which has a completely different deck, so I'm sure it vapes way different. Get away from me, The 4.1 is this one that has that tri post where the, the version 4 has uh, kind of almost like a raised postless deck as much as that is an oxymoron. But that's, if you guys look it up, that's that's what it is. All right, so with all of that being said, I do not know what's going on out in your world today, but if you're watching this, I do know that it's Friday, which is my favorite day, cause payday, payday. Around here with my big ass motherfucking Buddha version 4.1 by Vapors Cloud on top of my mystery 30 millimeter mechanical Filipino mech mod. <laughs> Abracadabra. <laughs> it is definitely all love. Thank you guys so much and I will see you guys on MCM Mondays.